All right. Good evening, 100 women who care at Durham Region. I just want to start by saying it's fantastic to be here in person after being uh, on Zoom for so long. It's pretty overwhelming. What a great turnout. I want to give a shout out to Kim and Sandra for nominating Luke's Place from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you very much. And I'd like to also acknowledge the other nonprofit organizations speaking here this evening, the Refuge Youth Outreach Centre and Families for Addiction Recovery. All of us are winners tonight, no matter what. When a woman is abused by her partner, most of us think, why doesn't she leave? Especially if she has children who are also at risk. But the truth is, the most lethal time for an abused woman, woman and her children, the time when they're most in danger of being killed, is at the point of separation and for up to two years following separation. Because the abuse doesn't end when she leaves. In fact, more than two thirds of the deaths investigated by Ontario's Domestic Violence Death Review Committee involve a couple with an actual or pending separation. Further, after separation, the woman is plunged into the challenges of the family court system. This system is very complex. Think about it. Professionals spend years in law school. They article with experienced experts. But three out of four abused women must navigate the family court system alone without a lawyer. In that light, picture Maria. She left her abuser despite her many fears. She's struggling to find housing for herself and her children. Her partner has blocked access to their joint bank account. She's being stalked and her every move is being tracked. Her work, her community spaces, her children's daycare are no longer safe spaces for her. She's living under constant threat. She's terrified for her children and overwhelmed by the thought of family court. Maria is why Luke's Place exists. We provide services to hundreds of Marias every year. We train and educate our frontline staff who are there to support Maria. We research issues and how the, how the law deals with those issues. We advocate for meaningful, lasting change. Our work has won awards. And this past fiscal year, we are on track to break a new record. But it's not a record to celebrate. With two months left in our fiscal year, we have already served 1,281 women in Durham Region, and we are on track to serve 1,600 by the end of it. Last year, we served 910 women. So let me put that in perspective for you. That's an increase of more than 50% in the number of women seeking help. This is not a measurement of success for our community, and we all have a role to play in fixing the problem. Through the generosity of people like you, we've been able to support abused women in Durham Region. Your donations help to fund services that help women to keep their children safe, to access legal advice, to empower themselves through the family court system so that they have better outcomes. Because Luke's Place is here, 1,600 women and their children are getting help this year. Fewer women are facing the family court system alone. More abused women now understand their rights, the court process, and their own legal issues. More abused women are empowered to speak for themselves and to participate in the legal process. More abused women are better equipped to plan and prepare for their case, including how to work effectively with a lawyer. What we know is these services and supports create better outcomes for abused women and their children. And so I ask you tonight, help keep them safe. Help them move to better lives and futures. You have the power to keep them safe. Thank you.